Welcome back to Connections Career Coaching. My name is Pete Duffy and today we're going to be discussing the first four success principles that are foundational to an effective job search as well as sharing stories that demonstrate the power of those principles on the job search. So the first principle that we're going to be discussing today is the principle of integrity. Now integrity stems from the Latin word integer which means whole or complete. Integrity is the inner sense of wholeness and it derives from such qualities as trustworthiness, honesty, and consistency of character. Integrity is our inner compass. It is that tiny voice inside our head that tells us what is right and what is wrong in every situation and even about our very selves. Our skills, experiences, our potentialities, talents, as well as our shortcomings. So now let's hear about a story of a young lady in Braintree, Mass, who learned the power of integrity. And that lady's name is Jane. Jane, as I said, lives in Braintree, Mass. She's 34 years old, and she is an exceptional brand manager. Unfortunately, she was laid off three months ago, and so she is running an active, detailed job search. Unfortunately, the search has not done very well for her, and she's starting to get frustrated. So last Friday afternoon, about 5 o'clock, Jane was just about to shut down the job search for the week. She decided, being the person, perseverant person that she is, to go back online and check out her top five target companies just to see if anything new was posted that she would be interested in. And so Jane went online, and lo and behold, in one of her target companies, there was a job there that she was very interested in. So Jane printed it off, went back to her desk, and checked it out. Well, let's see what we have here. It's a great title. Job duties and responsibilities. I can do all these. The company looks really good too. Let's see the requirements. Check the box on that one. That one. Oh, no. Number one requirement, 15 years on the job experience. I only have five. What am I going to do about this? Because I definitely want this job. So I guess <clears throat> I, could, I could fix my cover letter and resume so it shows 15 years experience. Uh, but that wouldn't be right. I have an idea. I have contacts in this company. I can actually reach out to them, let them know the situation, and ask them if they can find out who the hiring manager is for me. Then I can turn around, send the hiring manager a message, explain the situation, and ask that person if there's any flexibility with that requirement. This is going to be awesome. I'm feeling really good about this. So Jane typed up the message for her network and sent it off. And lo and behold, within 10 minutes, she had already heard from one of her contacts and that that person would help her out. So Jane shut down her computer screen and she walked out of her office that night and she felt really awesome. She felt a peace of mind. She felt proud of herself for doing the right thing. And I think great things are going to come from Jane from this particular opportunity. That's the power of integrity. The next success principle that we're going to be talking about is the power of discernment. Right? And discernment is the ability to understand or to grasp a situation that is otherwise obscure, unclear, complex. It is deep knowledge that got into awesome thinking. And speaking of thinking, Henry Ford once said that thinking is the hardest thing 
that most people will do in their whole life. That's why so few people do it. So if you take on discernment, deep thinking in your search process, you will be successful. Now let's talk about Bill, who had to use discernment in his job search journey. So this is Bill. Bill is a database management leader, lives in Philadelphia, and Bill's business supports Major League Baseball. And as we all know, things are a little bit slow with professional athletics these last few months because of COVID-19. So Bill's kind of read, reading the tea leaves a little bit and he's thinking, I think I better start looking outside of my current industry. And so Bill needs to ask himself six questions that are foundational to getting the kind of focus that he needs in his particular job search. And the first two questions are foundational. They must happen. First is, who am I? And what am I seeking? We need to get clarity here first. And then we're on to the next question. Why? The bigger, the bolder the why, the more intensity, the more energy Bill is going to have in chasing down this next step. Third question is how. What is my strategic plan? How am I going to get this done? Step by step. Next question is who? Who is Bill going to tap into? Who is Bill going to get to help him, to support him, to hold him accountable along this journey he's going to be taking? Very important. And finally, if Bill is really serious about moving from one vertical to another vertical, Bill has to start doing some due diligence. He has to start educating himself on that market and all the drivers. He needs to build that value in himself so that when he goes and he has a conversation, you know, in that next hiring organization, he can be smart about it and have a leg up when it comes to getting that job. That's the power of discernment. The next success principle is courage. And courage makes all things possible. Courage is what allowed Jane to do what she needed to do in the first example. Bill, to have the courage to move from one vertical to another vertical after 18 years of being there. And the reality is that we don't have to really look too far for courage these days in this particular market. We have people who have never done any public speaking who need to do public speaking now. People who haven't interviewed in 15 years and are having to rethink and relearn how to do interviewing. And as we shared, people like Bill who's actually changing industries. So courage really is the ability to venture out, to withstand danger, fear, difficulty, and disappointment. Now I want to share a story with you about this person here. And this person's name is Sue. And Sue is a clinical researcher. And she's been out of work for three months. But she has worked a very good job search. And she actually has multiple interviews with different companies going on. So one day last week, Sue had a second round interview with the hiring manager of one of the companies. And the hiring manager was very high on Sue and what she could do for the organization. He felt it went very well and he was actually talking about next steps. So after the call, Sue really did some discernment and thinking about what should I do about this because there was something gnawing at her that wasn't right. Something didn't feel good and it actually had to do with three years of the job that she didn't really feel confident in. So after some deep thinking, Sue had the courage to send a message to that hiring manager saying, thanks, but no thanks. I'm going to continue my search. Now, think about that. That is a very courageous thing to do because a lot of people maybe would have just taken that job just to take the job, but she didn't do that. She stuck with her principles. That's the power 
of courage. And finally, the last success principle is persistence. Now, persistence is what I call day in and day out courage. Right? This is the thing that Bill needs to have when he talks about his why. Okay? If he has a why that's really big, his perseverance is going to carry him all the way to the achievement of his goal. Right? So it's grit. It's determination. It's keeping on, keeping on. But the important thing about perseverance is it's the big leveler. Slow and steady wins the race. So if everything's equal and you're competing against somebody and you've got the perseverance edge and they don't, then you're going to win the job. So I want to give you an example and a story with this gentleman named Mike. Mike is a 62-year-old man from Hopkinton, Mass. Mike worked for EMC for 20 years, last eight years as a controller. And in 2016, he was laid off. And Mike has been going from contract job to contract job, never get anything steady. But one thing that Mike did is Mike ran a very, very structured job search process over the past four years. And it paid off with Mike landing a job and starting it two days ago. A phenomenal job, a great offer, and definitely a step up from where he was in 2016. So what Mike did around Perseverance was he really worked hard at continuing relationships with key recruiters and key contacts in his industry. And it definitely paid off. That's the power of Perseverance. So after every day of your work in job search, and it can be grueling, and when you're thinking to yourself, maybe I haven't made a difference, maybe I'm not getting it done, go back to these four principles and ask yourself, did I act with integrity this week? Even when it was difficult, did I think deeply about who I am? What is my why? What is my strategic plan? Did I act with courage? Did I say no when no was necessary? Or did I say yes when yes was necessary? And did I persevere in my job search? Did I get up every single day and get to the office on time and stay a little bit later just to get the edge and the achievement of my goal? If you can check the box on these at the end of every day, at the end of every week, then give yourself a high five. You are a champion and you will be successful in the achievement of your goal. So now I want to thank you for joining us today for the first four success principles foundational to an effective job search. And I invite you to stay tuned for next week's final series on the last four principles that are foundational to an effective job search. I want to thank you for joining me today and look forward to talking to you real soon. Have a great day.